<laughs> got you. So actually, Space Super Semi, very interesting record between the two. It is currently 11-10 in favor of Space, with the last time they've been played was actually at Tech Republic, which was a game five. Oh, so this has always gone historically very, very close with just like a slightly in favor of Space. But obviously, this is our first one. It's been a little bit of time since Tech Republic 7 as well. Was it like beating of the year? No, last year. It was last year. Yeah, right? exactly. So they got time to improve, and we've seen how Space did well already at like the previous tournament. We've seen him before. So, Pasumi, I do not remember seeing him in top 8 at Red Gen, was it? Who was it? I don't think so. Yeah, but I, mean, I didn't get that far. We, we, we got the records, and we didn't check that far. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, I mean, obviously, we are here now you know, at a big stage like this. Obviously, it's a fresh opportunity for both these players. Both of them on ridiculous runs right now, so we'll have to see how it's all going. Well, you see how Space wanted to extend his advantage here and getting punished accordingly in Space Open. So he's just going to... This is a two-toe to toe battle. You can see how they go for advantage, not going to... Maybe I want to take the slightly more advantage and that's going to, I'm going to get punished for it. However, this is going to be a sounding doom here for, uh, for Space. Getting a bit game I guess, on recovery. Obviously, you're talking about Paranitra, so it's bound to happen at least once during the set. The thing is, you don't want to happen to it to happen twice. I mean, this is the thing, like, obviously, Pyramid a strong, strong character with a lot of, you know, great strength to it. But equally, one of the biggest weaknesses being that recovery and Super Semi absolutely just going to blow up. And we are seeing, like, just complete domination from this young league right now, taking full control of the stage. Space just trying to get back into this desperately. Oh, he definitely cooked the face of Space here. Indeed, 83% already on his second stock there, and the same pressure he added on the ledge last time. He did work well. This time around, good adaptation by Space. Not going to be enough in fourth. He closed with no cigar. And Super Semi just, just chilling again on his first stock here. Yeah, it's just looking really tough because Super Semi just kind of weird in and out obviously recognizes the lead that he's got right now and saying that uh, you know, doesn't really need to play the super close quarters game but equally just got a chance to kind of just poke away at a shield there it's all very safe with young Lee, so can't just kind of you know, do all this more than that he's actually going to do this whenever he see Pyra on the say on this on the screen because otherwise if it's Mithra he doesn't care at all it's like oh okay you know what I, I can just again get in you can to punish me for sure but I'm not going to die either way now I don't percent obviously this is a different story and uh, it seems that Space decides to stay on Pyro. Is it going to be worth it? That's the question. Space is watching back onto Mithra and then die. Okay. It's such a like a top toss up as well because obviously as Pyro you kind of need that strength to actually take the kills while Mithra you need the speed but you know may struggle to actually find the kills itself. So it's like it's, it's so difficult to decide what to go Wait, for. What? But my goodness, Super Semi actually get the kill there instead? What? What was that? I mean. <laughs> That's not the sport that I thought would won the match up here, but anyway, going on, 153%, that's <laughs> young look at full rage. <laughs> I would say uh, that. But well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, obviously, the space just struggling, struggling to find this skill right now. It's so tough as well, because as you said, this is all free damage right now for Super Semi. It does not matter if this stock goes down, because every single bit is just helping to take this game at the end. It does not matter how many stocks are lost as long as you take that game. Yeah, I never seen Super Sony choke up to this point, and I think honestly at 46% already. Can he this kid die? I mean, do not quote me on this, but can he die? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoa! All right, for Sully to bomb. That's sexy as well. I'm pretty free, pretty free. I'm going to say this. Up smash, perfect, 90% 90, 90 on your last stock. That's not a good way to start a set. Yeah, so especially against a character like Young Lee, you just cannot be letting this child be living to that sort of percentage. It's just way too high, especially when you're at such a stock deficit as well. Triple digits on space right now. Super Semi absolutely on the hunt to take this final stock away. Pro is running away with the victory and already finding another kill here. You could guess why space went for the Comet here, but it kind of backfired pretty quickly. Super Semi taking 1-0 here on this set. Um, so, <laughs> time out. What do we change here? It's, I mean, obviously the biggest thing is that you really cannot let it be a Super Semi overwhelm. Because right now it feels like he's got the entire driver's keys. He's you know, going to run away with the victory. Yeah, time, exactly. Right? Say, he's at, he got the driver's seat and he left you on the pavement. So. Yeah, exactly. Like, living to uh, you know, nearly 200% as a young leap, you cannot let that happen at all. As you talked about, you cannot let the, uh, the child have that much rage. So that's <laughs> been that's a, it's got an angry child. You cannot really let it happen. He got angry <laughs> issues, all right? Angry. <laughs> <laughs> but equally, I mean, like, obviously, just I feel like space kind of, you know, sort of needing to sort of like toss up between 
you know, when to switch to that pyro, because I felt like the pyro actually really didn't do all that much. I feel like the, the speed of Mephra is kind of crucial here. You're bringing me on to a point here. Maybe it's wise to maybe take a smaller stage, because as you were saying, whenever your Super Summon was seeing that um, pyro on the screen, he was like, yep, I'm out. Yeah, see you later. Alligator. Anyway, yeah. and that's why he forced uh, uh, space to just stay on Mithra, which means that yes, there's going to be a point where you either go for a comet or you bring that young to like, those 160, 170 percent. See, smaller stage, exactly. and platform, which will make him maybe juggle a bit more. Let's see. Yeah, I know. I really like this from Space actually. Yeah, to kind of go for like this inherently smaller stage as you talked about, close the gap between them, just so you can you. Know, Force these close quarter combat a little bit more. It's going to be really nice. You cannot really let Young League just run away, chuck away projectiles, get all that percentage up, and then just completely retreat when you're trying to get a kill. Yeah, good force likely on the throw bump. Oh, and he's going to get back in there. There we go. This is what we are waiting for, or expecting from me for a good advantage phase. Even if they do not do a lot of damage, you just want to extend them to the best you can. Okay, Super Semi just obviously trying to get a get hunt there, just keeping that shield up. Again, every single time that you see Space just try and jump in, Super Semi is just keeping up their shield and then jumping back as well, retreating every single time. Does not want to actually get within Space's range, and oh, that's looking pretty scary as the boomerang did commit that arrow as well. It's just this is a lot of damage, just jabbing away quite safely, no shield humming. Space facing his ghost here, going for the nair, not connecting. Fortunate indeed, and you can see also from some is just again slightly, but surely running the just slightly. I do like that using the neutral B, and now finally we see the pyro from space. The cool it down there doesn't actually take the stock just yet, but again, it's so difficult to get through. The side B gonna give Super Semi a chance to get through all of this onslaught here, and again. I feel like every single time that space is like, he, he's almost expecting Semi to always be <laughs> jumping back, but it just does not happen. Bro, the, the thing is, in a fight where you have projectiles, when you're only a projectile is your sword, that's not a good thing. It's trade. not great, is it? Are you really <laughs> sure you want to throw it? 65, percent and still counting. Good jab here just to push his out of stage, and he's good, he's good. He will not come back. He's obviously going to use the side B, but hey, you want? I can go for the first up B. Yeah. I can do it again. Whatever. Yo! Wow! Semi actually let Space get back from that one. I feel like that's crucial. Do you come back on my words on this one. GG Space. But you still got a long way to go if you want to get this game back to even. Yeah, I mean, it's so tough right now. Obviously, like, again, Semi with this on the lead can just completely retreat away. Does not need to commit to anything. To just keep chucking this absolute onslaught of projectiles at Space's face. And it's so difficult, especially when you got confirmed, but a foresight coming in clutch there to escape the stock loss from the up air humming. Yeah, and this is the moment you see Super Shine as a young league player. Even that goes to the you will be able to find a few confirms in there. And when he goes for the co-op, which is the up air or the downer, you know it that's like 99% chance it will connect. So I'm expecting him to maybe try to see what are the habits of space in like. Yeah. So I mean, this is always, of course, what makes you know, Young League such a good character. Like the fact that you obviously while you've got this, these projectiles that are so powerful that confirm into each other, that confirm into kills, you've equally got your know, powerful moves like that up smash, the sword obviously just being so strong, like down and up air, etc. like that. It's so difficult to deal with, it, especially as like a close quarter character like uh, your know, Pyro Mipha. We are starting to see Space actually use that Mipha a little bit more, utilizing the speed, which is you know, so, so useful in this matchup. But again, it's just so difficult to get off this ledge when you're facing against Super Semi. So he's like, again, just going in and knowing that he does have, again, the, the, he's the one driving right now. He can do whatever he wants, one full stock ahead. He's not going to give him to die from his own bombs and from the para. He's going to survive, obviously. There we go, sailing out with the... Oh, and again, like, uh, there we go. Just, we were waiting out. Want to see dash attack? Yeah. That's the dash attack for you. <laughs> Both of us had, like, baited breath because we just knew something was coming there. Yeah, the dash attack coming through for Super Semi and suddenly... 2-0 up right now, Harming. I mean, I said before about how you know, the set always goes close. This is the time for Space to really get it going, to lock in right now, take us to that game five. But my God, is it looking tough right now. It is looking tough. Maybe time to go for, as you were saying, the time of his life, the reverse of his life here. It's going to be pretty difficult, to be honest. We saw how well, Spasami was kind of confident in this matchup. I mean, there's a few interactions he lost, and he paid the price so much every single time. It's not even like he's not playing messy or anything. He just maybe whiffed one there, and then, oh, you're up 70%. What's happened there? I say, I mean, it, it really feels like Space has not been able to, like, you know, have his turn almost. Like, it feels like he's Can not I been able to get oh, anything. No. Okay. 
can I pick? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, it's, it's like, yo, can I have my turn now? Is it my turn on the Xbox now? Mom! <laughs> Mom! Supersonic <laughs> got my controller again. <laughs> The Nether doesn't connect. It seems like because the uh, young is kind of small, he doesn't manage to connect it out of shield and he doesn't manage to find anything out of it. Now the punish. Oh, okay. Nope. No, I do like that. You know, space recognizing the grab coming out from Super Semi. Just gonna spot dodge through, get a little bit of something going. But again, I was like, I, obviously, Pyro Mipha not really known for her combos or anything like that. You know, she mostly just able to chain together some. But it feels like Space has just been able to get like stray hits here and there, while Super Semi has actually been able to link a lot of moves together, which is kind of making the big difference right now. Definitely finding ah, only in there, nothing actually. That's what saying. He does go for the skirmish here and there, trying to wrap up the set after one or two hits, but didn't get what he kind of found in the first games. The, those with big screen finishing if you not be just wrap up 50% in one go. This time around, more as we were saying, oh, I'm winning there, I'm winning there, I'm winning there, I'm trying to get what I can with that. Yeah, it's like, and again, every single time, like, we're seeing these sort of percentages, and it is, like, it is close, but again, like, with Super 7 just retreating like this, it looks so difficult for space to get through any sort of chance. The parry coming out there is crucial on the up there. No, again, why are we chucking out the sword? It does not work! Uh. Uh, 50 50 here. I guess he was like, slightly close to the edge. So if he went to roll in or go on side, uh, like uh, without like on, on side spot dodge, would that work? He did work here for Super Sunny. Managing to get a quick kill again. 44%. When did that happen? <laughs> I, I, suddenly, I mean, this is what Yuggling does. I mean, this, this guy has so much ridiculous damage just out of nowhere. They literally blink and suddenly you're like 70%. Go so another hour and there we are. Another combo here. You sure want to go for the take on place? And again, you can see like Space is you know, really trying to utilize this side beam just to keep Young Link away. But Semi is recognizing that and just keeping the distance even further. You know? so when you can read that sort of move coming out, it does not make a difference. And now again, Space in just a very difficult position. Triple digits once more, Humming. Caught between a rock and a hard place. It's like the hard place is literally a child of the 80 year old child. Just the patience. I'm really finding a kill here, but uh, yeah, it's popping the bleeding at 150%. Now is maybe the time for him to shine with a lot of rage. But I, you can see how Super Fee just like the game. Avoiding any interactions, he doesn't have to. He's in the driver's seat right now. So he can just use his projectiles one after the other, and every time Space wants to contest them, he's either going to be... <laughs> every single uh, time he wants to contest, you get hit by net. <laughs> I swear it's like a brick in that shoe, honestly. <laughs> it's like he's so happy to finally be in, finally finding a moment to finally play that he kind of, well, fouls it to Supersonic Straps. Yeah, again, it's just every single attempt to do anything feels like it's being snuffed out. Like there, the retreat back, the re back in, the grab, the space really is just struggling to find any sort of moments. Like, it feels like an RPG where you just do not get a turn at all. Fully paralyzed, fully paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Flitching. Con <laughs> confused and flinching. You're like, bro. Yeah, his base again still on the hunt just to try and get something. The side beam comes out there, but Semi once more just keeping up that shield. Semi now again just in a position where can quite literally just safely kind of back it into shields, can do anything, just really can play this game so safely. The Brewer comes out there, and suddenly a huge combo from the Netherlands youngling player as he takes the game, takes a set 3 0 over space. It just always feels like you were talking about RPGs, right? Yeah. You just felt like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, yes, where you go yeah. from good, yeah. perfect, super perfect. <laughs> you see, this is exactly what just happened there. It was like, oh, do I have the good read? Oh, yes, can I go on? Yes, do I like have the <laughs> next good read? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, perfect. Here comes 99.99% damage. Do a good job. <laughs> Shake my hand. <laughs> It's like uh, sort of yeah, the, the, like the Sonic games, like the quick time events. Yeah, great, amazing, perfect, excellent. Exactly. <laughs> I can see the perfect Twitter clip already yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just an incredible play there from Super Semi.